Okay guys, what's going on? First off, if you're watching this video, I kind of want to say sorry because if you're watching this, chances are you're having trouble with your Altrex or other Minn Kota motor. But what's happening to me or what's happening is when I pull this to latch the motor, it would not latch in the stowed position like this at all. I tried moving the bounce bar, that didn't matter. It would latch here at the front, no problem. So I took the motor off, and without the motor, this bracket would latch in the stowed position, no problem at all. As soon as you put the motor back on, it wouldn't latch. I was looking and looking, couldn't figure it out, and I looked down inside here. There's two springs that hold a bracket here. I'll show you in a minute that when you pull the string, it latches onto a bar, and that locks it into place. So what would happen? So when you pulled this to release it, no problem. When you brought it back down, this here, which controls this mechanism, would not slide back into place and lock the motor. It would just be like this, like just loose. Instead of sliding back like that, and now it's locked, right? So that's, of course, no good. I looked and looked in here for debris and whatnot, couldn't find anything. So I'm gonna show you how I fixed this problem. I didn't really know what else to do, so I decided to take this off. Well, go ahead, you can just take these out here. Now, when you put these back in, or any other of these screws back in, make sure to put some Loctite on them. We all know these motors get bounced around pretty good. Both these sides come off the same way. I'm only going to show you one side. So, when I got this bracket off, and I started looking in here again, I noticed that there was a this bolt right here was sheared off, there was no head on it. It was inside this piece, but it was sheared off. But I thought, well, that shouldn't really matter. I mean, it's still in there. It's got this slotted groove, it has one in it. I don't even know if that's my problem. But when I took the motor off again, I deployed it, locked it back into place, it clicked in no problem. I looked, and this stayed perfectly straight the way it is right now. But as soon as you put this motor on here, just the weight of it, even with the one screw, it actually would twist in this slot, it twisted just enough so that the bar that's in there, imagine if it's like this, twisted just a little bit like so. Instead of being perfectly straight, it just did a little twist. So this mechanism inside of here, the two pins, they were un it made it uneven so they couldn't slide underneath and lock into position. So. If you take these off, both sides, if you take those bolts out, of course if one's sheared off, you don't need to take it out. Take this side off, take this side off, this arm just slides out. And uh, I'm lucky enough to have a buddy that did this for me, Bob Deckert. He was nice enough to get the stripped uh, bolt out of there. If not, you can order this part from Minn Kota. It's about $15 Canadian. It's round here and it has a little piece here like this. It's part 490 in the Altrex manual if you need to order it. 490 is the part that you need. And as soon as you put this bolt back in here, it stabilizes this end of the bracket. And now, once you get your arm in the right place, it snaps right back into place the way it should. So again, thanks for watching. I'm sorry you're having issues with your Altrex. I love the motor. It's been absolutely fantastic. But uh, other than that, I've had no complaints. Can't really complain. I mean, these things get used and abused. You can see on my boat here, the whole bracket actually came loose on my boat. I was in some really rough water. I can't blame Minkota for the issue that I had. It was really, really rough. Um, I thought I was being really easy, apparently not easy enough. And my guess is that when this whole bracket came loose on my actual boat, everything was just, you know, shifting and moving the way it shouldn't. And uh, that's not their fault at all. But if you're having an issue where it won't lock in the stowed position, check these out on both sides. 
and if these are loose or broken off, replace the nut. Sorry, that's not a nut. Re replace the screw. Um, you can actually just get the same one at your local Lowe's or whatever. Just take one with you and make sure it's the same. If you don't have time to wait for Minn Kota. I actually got this one from a Minn Kota dealer. But it is silver. No big deal. Stainless steel. So yeah. Hope that helps you out. So now I'll just uh, I'll grab the camera and I'll show you in here really close what exactly I'm talking about. So this is the piece right here. Like I said, it's actually round, comes down like this inside, and it's those bolts you want to make sure are tight and or not missing or broken off. If I put the camera in there, hopefully you can see that mechanism, and that's the one that would not move and lock into place. And it wouldn't lock into place because the pin was a little bit bent from that bolt being broken off. And this is the other slider piece that slides. And how I kind of knew that this, there must have been another issue was that this slid freely when the motor wasn't on, it locked in. So that's something to look for. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope if you're having this issue that this really helps you out uh, easily without having to take a long time to look at it. And again, thanks a lot, Bob Deckert, Pete Garnier, who helped me out with this issue. Uh, Pete brought me a troll tamer. Unfortunately, it's just a little too long for my motor, but uh, I'm definitely going to have to get a troll tamer or something to stop this thing from shifting and moving at all in super rough water. I want it locked down super tight so there's zero movement. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Have a great summer.